all builder elements are able to load dynamic content. For example, let's open the headline element and load the title of the current page into the content field. First, we need to select a content source to define fields available for mapping. You can do that in the Advanced tab of an element under Dynamic Content. The options here are grouped depending on the source they come from. Content sources under Page are provided by the page you're browsing. On a single article page, like in my case, it's the article itself, previous article, and next article. Custom sources are content sources which are custom queried. They are independent of the current page. For example, you can load the latest articles or all your blog categories into a page. External sources are content sources which are custom queried and not part of the Joomla database. For example, you can load images from a specific folder into a page. And site is a content source with general fields of your site as well as fields of the current logged in user. There is also a parent source, which is a content source set on the closest parent node, for example, an element, column, row, or section. Now let's go back to our headline. Let's take article as our content source and go back to the content tab. Now each content field shows a dynamic button on the right. Click on it to open up a drop down with a list of all fields available for mapping. For example, let's map the article's title. As you can see, the article title is shown. For elements which have multiple content items, for example the grid, the dynamic content option can be found in the advanced tab of each item as well as the element itself. This way, the items can multiply or each item can have a different content source. Sections, rows, columns or elements which load dynamic content show a dynamic content status icon. The end status icon indicates that the use source is a multiple item source. The P status icon indicates that it's a parent source. And a PN status icon shows that it's a parent multiple item source.